And you speak six languages, and you're working on your seventh. Yes. So how did that? When did that start factoring in? Um, I think that's part of being German. Um, or actually not, but part of me not liking being German to some degree. It's, there's, there's a rigidity to being German that um, I like and I grew up with hating. Now that I'm outside of Germany, I also learn to appreciate more of what it means. You know the good things about yeah. it. But I never liked the rigidity. Uh, I never liked the uh, sort of the cold exterior of many Germans. And for me, the key to getting to know people is and has always been speaking their language. Whether that's, I don't only mean that literally speaking their language, but really understanding who they are. You need to understand them and you need to understand what they say. So for me, learning my first language, English, and then uh, in, in, in school being learning French, um, got me into wanting to learn more about other cultures. That's why I studied history uh, and politics. And one language led to the other, and really I only learned them once I left Germany. I lived in France, I lived in Italy, lived in Switzerland, lived in Spain. Uh, you get to know the people, and for me that was the, the recipe to really understanding people learning their language. So not sort of uh, coming from the angle of, I'm here, I speak my language, either you speak to me the way I understand, or I'm not going to get to know you but rather the other way around. Let me try to understand you. And that has been really, really enriching. So speaking languages is, is a great thing. Yeah, I would think that even though my first language, my first language is English. And yours oh, hold on a minute. Don't you have some German up in there? Let's bring a few sentences. Come on. You can't, I learned I just, German when I was in sixth grade. <laughs> it was the only language I took. Whatever to. it is, for me, the secret for languages is you. You you just have to embrace being looking stupid for a little okay. while. Well, here Grammar we go. Is wrong. <laughs> start, start with something. Jess, uh, surprise us. Um, guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Jess. Wie geht's? Uh, wie geht's Ihnen? Danke Ihnen. Sehr sehr gut. Wie geht's Ihnen? How are you saying? I'm out. She's done. She's I'm done out. at this point. <laughs> But see you later. That's very nice, That's very nice Jess. I think you should go back to to to, uh, to speaking more German. I, I will work on that. Okay. I will work on that. That's a deal. It's on camera. <laughs> so I, I would think that if I spoke German better, I could relate to you in a completely different way because that's your native language. So is that what you mean in, in relating to in addition to understanding? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you an example. Last year, uh, we went with our company China and we judged the China salsa competition and there were a couple of things that really stood out for me and I'm going to get into that at some yes. point. Um, one was just knowing how to say one, two, three, five, six, seven in different languages and learning how to say this is a basic left turn, right turn in Italian when you're in Italy, um, in France, uh, speaking, speaking the language makes a huge difference. All of a sudden people are smiling, they're willing to learn from you, so it, it really helps. And we had the culture minister there also. And you remember that there was the earthquake last yes. year in China? Yes. For me, it was one of the most profound experiences where we were sitting judging their dancers. And at the same time, us later on being the showcase at night. You had the uh, CCTV there, you had the culture minister there. And they brought all the orphans yes. to that Congress a month or two after they lost their family, after they lost everything, these little children and they made them stand up and these kids were smiling and laughing although they had lost everything because they saw people on, on stage dancing. For me another reminder also of how important it is to appreciate what you're doing and how important that dance is. Right. So the language and, 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 and just the little things, being able to say hello just like you did and goodbye and nice to meet you, is, is just an indicator that you're willing to approach them whoever that may be, another culture, versus you having you letting people come to you. So right. for me that's that's a key difference. It's an in terms of experience. Right.